Hey y'all, this is Angela Peralta. I'm the Holistic Registered Dietitian Nutritionist. Um, so I'm just coming um, back to you with regards to another video. I want to provide you with some information that I have found out um, regarding plexus um, and also research um, that has been um, available as well. So one main research, I mean plexus has done a clinical trial. I'll show you um, the information on that. And it was a clinical study that was done, uh, they said, in a multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized trial by an independent contract research organization um, and performed in according with the International Conference of Harmonizational Guidelines in Good Clinical Practice. And so they've taken their, uh, their product, they've taken SLIM, and then they've also taken uh, the triplex, which involves SLIM, the BioCleanse, and the probiotic, um, and also compared it against a placebo. And both of them, as you can see in the, the results, both showed weight loss, and that was probably, um, on average, is what they found out. On average, uh, people have lost weight. Um, so as you can see, on average, people have lost weight on the placebo, uh, more so with the just taking slim, um, and versus the placebo. Um, but people it seems to have lost more weight when they're doing the triplex, and again, that's the slim with the uh, bio cleanse is what they call it. Uh, that it's basically a magnesium um, supplement with some other um, additives to it, and then the probiotic, and so. This is what they've done. They, I'm not able to get the whole study. Um, they have told me they do not release their full length clinical studies as necessary step to protect their brand due to proprietary, proprietary uh, information. Um, and so that's something that kind of throws up a red flag that I can't necessarily go on PubMed or I can't go to Google Scholar and find this research studies that they've actually done on Plexus. But I can find information on the ingredients that they do put into their products. And so a prescription based uh, website uh, called Natural uh, Database, um, Natural Medicines Database, um, takes supplements, it takes the evidence regarding those supplements, um, and they and they put it into this website. I mentioned on all different types of natural supplements and what evidence is there out there. They give information on safety and effectiveness and medicine interactions. And so what I want to do is provide uh, a little bit of information on what I've found in regarding because they taken the Plexus Slim uh, by Plexus Worldwide and they've broken it down, um, like I said, um, in regards to effectiveness, safetiness, what were the other ones? Interaction with drugs and adverse side effects. And so nothing's always 100%, you know, safe and effective and something, anything that you're taking. I mean, there's always possible side effects with you know, if you're just taking, say, an omega-3 supplement, there's possible uh, digestive issues someone could have. But it's a lot less of a risk than if you're taking, say, um, taking a medication. Usually medications have more side effects um, than, than typical, say, like if you're taking an omega-3 supplement. Um, and so I just kind of want to throw that out there um, to let you guys know what I'm finding. So let me pull up my notes that I have taken um, from the Natural Medicines database. And so basically they break it up into ingredients and they go through it and say, is it possibly effective? Is it ineffective? Possibly ineffective? Um, and so what they've said on, let's see. So what they've talked about with uh, alphalinic acid, which is uh, an omega-3 fatty acid. Um, and so definitely, like I was saying, that's um, something that's definitely possibly, uh, that's definitely safe. And But they're saying it's possibly effective for people who have heart surgery, who have diabetes, pre-diabetes. Um, it's possibly effective for uh, neuropathy, uh, weight loss, wound healing. I mean, definitely your wounds need fat to heal itself. And so I can definitely see how that's possible. Also, um, how 
omega-3 good healthy fats are good for your heart health um, as well because that's hugely beneficial especially if someone who has um, heart health issues or needs to increase their good cholesterol or um, decrease their triglycerides usually that's recommended to take that in omega-3 so some of those things definitely make sense from a lot of different research that's been out there um, but other things that is possibly effective for is alcoholic related liver disease um, altitude sickness alzheimer's um, diabetes uh, retinopathy hiv related dementia uh, rheumatoid arthritis um, and that's just on the, the benefits or the possible effectiveness for alpha linic acid or ALA as it's typically called. Um, one, uh, another ingredient uh, that they talk about is the, is the chromium that's in uh, SLIM. And so chromium um, is definitely um, helps uh, possibly, uh, is what they're saying, effective for deficiency. Obviously, if you're deficient in any nutrients, you usually take a, a the nutrient itself to help bring it back up but uh, as in diabetes and that definitely makes sense um, as it helps to balance out your blood sugar and so uh, especially if you're you're needing a you know if you're deficient you usually take it if you have diabetes a good amount of people probably um, have possibly taking it um, but in the slim, they're using it to try to balance your blood sugar, try to balance cravings that when you have an imbalance in blood sugar, your, your blood sugar is all over the place and that creates uh, highs and lows and that creates cravings and, and fatigue and crashes and feeling uh, lethargic. So um, that's the main reason why they've put chromium in there to kind of help stabilize blood sugars. Um, but chromium is also possibly effective for if you have imbalances in your blood lipid levels and so if you have like elevated you know out of whack good cholesterol or bad cholesterol or triglycerides so if you have a huge imbalance um, in that they're saying chromium is also possibly effective for it so some other things uh, Garcinia um, which is a um, is a fruit um, that's rich in a nutrient called HCA. I won't go and say the long name of what it is, but I'll just abbreviate it HCA. And it actually is possibly effectiveness. I mean, research have done, they've actually done two clinical trials on Garcinia um, that test that particular component, that HCA component. Um, and so one of them I wanted to mention mainly because women, most women take plexus. And so this clinical study that was done on Garcinia talked about untrained females and their time to they were exhausted um, when they are exercising actually increased approximately 20 minutes longer so they're able to exercise more without getting as exerted or feeling you know drained of energy for those who took um, the HCA component of the Garcinia uh, compared to the placebo um, and then also it's also a possible effect of because there's another study done regarding obesity um, so people who are overweight um, but then there's some controversial evidence of the effects on it so um, that's a little bit here highs and lows and so so the other thing I wanted to talk about was also the green coffee um, there has been insignificant evidence um, to saying it's going to help with obesity, but there has been some clinical evidence uh, trials. It's just not enough evidence um, regarding it. Uh, but the one there has been showed there was weight loss of two and a half to three and a half uh, kilos of weight um, instead of you know people who were taking a placebo or drinking regular coffee. Um, and so that's just another thing to mention. Um, and then another ingredient that's in there is black mulberry um, and there's just not enough reliable information on it and so those are the main things for possible effectiveness and so if you have any kind of um, further questions I can definitely answer but in my so the next topic I wanted to talk to you about is the safety of slim um, because that's a huge importance and like I was talking about with you know side effects the I mean the biggest one that natural medicines database has found is basically with like nausea or GI upset which definitely can make sense uh, especially because there's alkalinic 
uh, like acid ALA in there like I was saying before that's you know a side effect of it but usually when you have side effects too um, that are very mild like that then you usually just kind of back off of the supplement itself you maybe wait a few days or a week or whatever until your symptoms subside and then if you're wanting to continue or decrease the dosage or the amount that you're taking of a supplement um, so there's usually a workaround um, with it but with um, the safetiness of it I wanted to talk to you um, in regards to um, one particular um, ingredient that they add and that was the Garcinia um, fruit extract and so every other one um, that they put into all the other ingredients that you know is listed uh, in slim is uh, according to this database is possibly um, safe um, or likely safe um, chromium um, has an exception usually with the FDA they don't recommend taking um, it longer than six months um, and so you know if that's the case you know I would definitely take a break from it um, if you're taking 200 milligrams uh, for six months take a break let your body rest from it let it see how it operates after utilizing it for for six months and if you can be able to not have to have a need for for the supplement itself um, and try to get your body to regulate itself after you've kind of um, rebalanced uh, the system and and so and if it takes longer for your system to the rebalance you know then I would definitely, you know, discussing, you know, with your uh, practitioner or somebody else, you know, if you wanted to reintroduce uh, this. There's also some possible interactions with medications that are moderate or mild. And if you're on any type of medications when you're taking supplements, you always want to let them know um, as well or talk to your pharmacist because they're also a great resource for interactions and making sure that things get absorbed the way that they should if you're taking a medication and you're needing it so um, but going back to Garcinia um, one of its possibly um, unsaved uh, mainly uh, because of that I was talking about that nutrient that they researched on it for um, for performance and then possible for weight loss but that HCA component um, when they were doing uh, clinical trials um, lasting up to up to 12 weeks was safe um, and then there's possible however there was some concern regarding liver toxicity um, and several case reports of elevated liver enzymes and so um, if you're going to uh, the doctor on a yearly basis if you get your uh, nutrients checked um, and that would be probably something to include like if you go and you get your normal cholesterol levels checked or you check your blood sugar on a yearly basis I would also include getting uh, a liver panel done um, and so that would be something to kind of talk to your doctor about um, and so that's the only nutrient um, in Plexus Slim that has some kind of questionable um, possible you know concern to it all um, but this is a supplement and so there's always, you know, always got to listen to your body and what it's telling you. Um, and so that would be something um, I would mention as well. So the Natural Medicines um, database, they have a rating uh, system. And so mainly because of that unsafetiness of the Garcinia, uh, the possible unsafe um, is what they say. Uh, it got rated a 2 out of a 10 for natural medicines brand evidence base um, rating. And so what that really kind of means, um, they come up, you know, they want to, people ask, you know, is it safe and does it work? And so when, if they give it a 2, you know, because of mainly the of the safetiness of it um, that's just something to kind of look into and question for yourself and is this really something you really want to do um, it's always a trial and error I'm not telling you you have to go out or not do it at all so it's always a, a, an evaluation of for yourself I mean like I said um, if people would research as much as you know they think about supplements as into medications and the effectiveness and the safety of medications um, for themselves as you know you're thinking about what like what I'm doing with 
uh, supplements, then some people might just not necessarily take a medication because of the different side effects or possible um, adverse effects that it can cause diabetes or heart disease or contribute to cancer or you know cause issues with you know causing insomnia and so you got to think about that in the same aspect as a supplement um, that, that there's always going to be you know an underlying uh, thing that you might question but most people don't necessarily question medication because their doctors recommend it um, and most physicians will not hand out supplements or recommend supplements you know, because they're not necessarily versed in it um, it's just lack of knowledge um, and so they might not necessarily be you know reimbursed or pushed to do it um, like they are with medication and, med and the pharmacy companies and so that's just another thing to look at so I wouldn't necessarily um, look at it as a, a total negative but as a just kind of a an information um, of what you're consuming and if it's really something that you want to do um, or want to try and like I said long term I would probably try to give yourself a break um, with the supplement and see if your body's able to um, rebalance itself on its own after you've um, cleaned out your system and eating better and um, feeling better you know that would be um, something to also to look into but again I would also suggest going back to your physician and letting them know as well and getting their guidance because they're your primary care um, I don't necessarily see you one-on-one -on -one, um, to make any suggestions or recommendations but I'm just giving you what's available um, and so if you have um, any questions about it um, or if I didn't go over anything you can feel free to comment uh, and let me know or if you want to talk with me one more -on one um, regarding anything you can feel free to do that you can message me um, all right hope you guys have a great day so the video is not not over yet I do have one thing I wanted to mention before um, I guess I cut it off so when I was doing my morning workout every morning um, I take a Vega it's a, I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but yeah, so a sport energizer. Uh, it's a sugar free one. This one's a Sai um, Berry. I also have the lemon lime flavor. Um, but this has herbs in it as well. Um, and the reason why I wanted to mention it because I was like, hmm, I've never really looked it up um, before on the Natural Medicines database. And so I was curious to see where it fell um, and what they kind of said about it um, because I do know the herbs that are in here and kind of what they're for and what they're due um, but just to kind of see how they rated it I was just out of curiosity I decided to look up and it got a 2 out of uh, 10 and so for their what do they call it hold on let me look at let me look up here and see it Goodness, scroll all the way to the top for the natural medicines brand evidence-based rating and so that's just the evidence that's out on the particular ingredients that are in here and as you can see I don't know if you can see very well cover me up um, what's in here if you'll focus on that or not um, but I'll read what's in here um, it has coconut oil herba mate devil's claw green tea rhodiola ginseng turmeric ginger and so as I was looking at the evidence that's on there um, and some of the effectiveness and the possible safetyness of it some of research is just not necessarily out um, for long-term use of some of these herbs and so I've actually been taking this longer than what is actually suggested for some of the ingredients like a year or six months or 21 days that has been shown safe up to those days um, and then we don't necessarily have research about longer than that uh, like say five years I've been taking this for at least a couple of years every single day almost every single day I've been taking this supplement um, for the past couple of years before I work out so basically I wake up in the morning I'm a morning person so I love to work out in the morning I drink um, a scoop of this which is a powder and you just put it in water and you shake it up um, and then I drink it before or as I'm working out and it gives me energy basically to do my workout so I don't feel as fatigued or tired um, and exercise gives me so much natural energy I just feel I don't necessarily need any coffee in the morning especially if I had a good night's sleep of at least um, between seven and a half to eight and a half hours is generally a good amount of sleep for me 
Um, but I wanted to, to state that because the Plexus Slim got a 2. Um, and obviously as the huge question is because mainly it's for weight loss and this is, you know, for exercising. But people don't necessarily kind of question like Vega, it's something that you see in the stores, over the counter, but the brand itself, people are not necessarily going and like, oh my gosh, they, they put herbs in here and how, you know, how unsafe that might be. And so there's herbs in Plexus, um, but Plexus is a brand, from what I've been researching, a very natural brand. They try not to put any artificial sweeteners or colorings or sugars or just junk. Um, they try to keep it as clean as possible. But because of the herbs, and there's just not a lot of research on herbs itself, there's some, but herbs are more of a natural form for, um, say, getting energy, like Herba Mate. Um, it's a great energizer, as well as like ginseng. I mean, people kind of know about that, or um, one maybe not necessarily known much about is rhodiola. Um, but um, there's other things that are pretty more well known and researched. So it's just a matter of lack of evidence out there. But it doesn't necessarily mean like I'm going to stop taking this. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to let you know regarding that. I'm just taking uh, the information that I find. That way it helps me be more knowledgeable about possible side effects or what could happen. Obviously with this, there's probably increased heart rate. People would probably have increased blood pressure, um, which makes sense because it's supposed to, you know, stimulate your system, but it's also supposed to help with inflammation from the um, ginger and turmeric from your workout. Um, and so, you know, in regards to to this supplement versus Plexus, I just kind of wanted to mention there's other ones out there. Um, like I said, if you look more into it, um, you'll find more information. And all I'm doing is trying to use this as more of a knowledge information to help me understand if the do has side effects, what those might be. So I'm more aware of it, being more in tuned in my body and listening what it says and what it's telling me or if I need to stop or, or keep going. For like something like this, I'm not necessarily going to stop taking it even though the research out there is not available to you know, for long-term use. I'm doing fine on it as as far as um, I am, but if I ever have issues or problems, obviously I will stop taking it. Um, and so, just wanted to give you a comparison about something that's probably a little bit more known, like this supplement or this brand, Vega, um, than a newer company like Plexus Worldwide. So, all right, so now this is the end of my video. All right, I will see you guys um, in the next one. All right, hope you have a great day.